One of my favorite kind of secret workflows that I put together for my clients is when it comes to automated reminders after someone's filled out a proposal but did not sign the contract. Now this doesn't happen very often, but it does happen and I'm gonna show you how to fix it. I'm Lauren with The Smarter Creative. I am a certified Dubsado specialist. I love all things systems and I help creative entrepreneurs, small business owners who are overwhelmed in their businesses work smarter rather than harder. And I am so glad you are here. So I'm gonna jump into it like super quickly, but just hi Archain. This is a workflow that may or may not be needed or used often but those rare cases that it is needed it's really nice that it is there and waiting for you as soon as someone completes your proposal it is ready to follow up on those contracts for you to remind people to finish booking with you so without further ado let's get into my dubzato and so i have my dubzato build Notion dashboard pulled up that has all my steps written out and then I'm going to build it out in my test project over here. So I'm going to add a workflow. I'm going to title it the proposal completed contract not signed. I like to add my little emojis to it. So our first action is this change project status. And here is gonna be a lead in either the contract sent or really it's a like your proposal has been filled out. So we'll just do contract sent for here, but it could easily be like waiting on payment or something like that. All right, and then we're gonna add an action. We're going to send an email. Here, I want it to probably be one day later. And I'm just going to type it out here. I'm not gonna work off of a canned email, although I do have it ready here. So we're gonna drop in our subject line and our email body. So this is assuming like the contract needs to get signed and the invoice needs to get paid. So I'm including a link to the contract and a link to the invoice. All right. So then I have it again, send email five days later with another follow-up. And if you guys like this dashboard that I'm working off of, I will link it in the description. It's super helpful for building out your Dubsado and helping you think through all the different parts of it. It's great for a DIY or if you help other people with their setups. Perfect. So like here's if you want any questions, I noticed you completed the proposal but did not sign the contract. I'd love to work with you. Great. No problem. Apply. Now. We're gonna do, I like to do a third and final one. And this one I have about two weeks after that last email is sent. So I'm gonna send email, I'm gonna say 14 days later. And let's go ahead and pull up this email. Perfect, final file up. All right, I do a control A V, I like to do a clean copy paste so it keeps all my formatting. So this is just like, I wanna reopen your date, no problem, final follow-up, great, apply. Okay, at this point then, they have not, like it's been almost three weeks that they picked a plan but did not sign a contract. So we're not gonna follow up anymore. So we're gonna add a tag, proposal expired, maybe seven days after that last email goes out so that there's a a buffer in case they say actually I do want to like move forward or have questions or something and then you can pause this yourself and let it come in but I'm gonna say proposal expired just for an easy tag and then immediately after it tags I'm just gonna have it archive the project zero days later archive project and then this is the key I'm putting it all the way down at the bottom since it, these are all after all previous actions are completed but this bottom one, I'm going to add pause workflow. 
as soon as the contract has been signed by the client. So we're going to do this. So as soon as the contract signed, this workflow is paused. So in a workflow where we send a proposal, then let's go to settings here, send form proposal book. So I'm going to add an action. I'm going to start a workflow. It is going to be zero days after form is completed. So we're going to be looking for that proposal. And then we're going to start that the proposal been completed, but contracts not signed. That workflow that we just built, we're going to start it. So as soon as a proposal is filled out, it triggers this other workflow. And as soon as that contract is signed, it will pause that workflow. So ideally your lead, your client, completes the proposal and signs a contract all in like wham bam, like no problem. In which case that, that this workflow will get paused immediately. Like it won't even do anything. So that is exactly what we want it to be done. And then my change project immediately after contract has been signed by client that happens in this workflow instead of the other one. So that here, it's just as soon as they sign the contract not signed, that will pause that workflow and no reminders will go out. It's lovely. Oh, there you have it. You are ready to automatically follow up with people who maybe didn't realize they needed to sign the contract and make payment, or maybe they just I don't know, weren't ready to commit yet and they, they bailed before they did it. Whatever the reasoning is, you are ready to automatically follow up with them, give generous assumptions on why they could not finish their booking with you at the time of completing the proposal and your system will do it for you. A lot of people ask me why I prefer Dubsado over HoneyBook and I have several videos talking about it, but this is one of them. The running of workflows at the same time is not something that's doable in HoneyBook. You can only have one workflow happening at a time. So these like emergency backup workflows that are like ready to work for you, but like also like no problem, we'll pause. I don't have to do my job. Like that's a Dubsado thing. And you do not know what you don't know. So you might be super overwhelmed inside of your Dubsado and that is where I come in to help. I love all things Dubsado. I love helping you figure out the best way to use it inside of your business. That is what I do. That is my business. So if you need help inside of your Dubsado, I would love to chat with you. There's a link for a free discovery call down below. We can hop on a 20, 30 minute call, talk about your business, see if I can help. If I'm a good fit for you, you for me. So if you are too busy to deal with your Dubsado or you are ready to just have somebody else help you inside of it, let's talk, let's work together. I would be honored to help you in your business. You guys truly are the best part of why I am in this. I love helping people. I love figuring out the ways to make your business run better and it is just a joy to be able to do that and I'm good at it. So you wanna book that call. <laughs> I put videos out every week to help you inside of your small business. So be sure to subscribe to this channel. If this was helpful, hit that notification bell and give this video a thumbs up. If you are about to go implement this workflow, I will see you guys next week.